trust. How may I serve you, your grace? What exactly would you like to know? My story? Why not? You deserve to know it. I am a priest of Arastil, and Galt is my homeland. You can imagine what it's like following the teachings of the stag god in a realm torn by discord and strife. Rebellion and suspicion are the pillars of Galt. Led by Erastil, I tried to guide my flock to embrace tranquility and balance and guard them from hasty judgment until I fell from grace myself. Foolish, foolish old John. My misdeeds cast a shadow over my life and service. In search of redemption and a balm for my soul, I took to the road. I had come nearly to despair when Erastil sent me a vision of the Temple of the Elk. I knew that very moment that the stag god had shown me the way to redemption. Well, if you truly wish to know, I'll have to start from the long time back. Werewolves preyed upon the lands around my village. They murdered people for fun or sport and left the corpses to rot on the roads. One night, they broke into a young woman's house and dragged her into the streets. One evening, a traveler came to our tavern, tattered and dirty from days on the road like so many others roaming Galt. He sat quietly in the corner of the tavern, drinking cheap ale, and in an instant, I knew he was a werewolf. I felt it in my soul. It was like Erastil himself had whispered it into my ear. Led by Providence, I left to gather my flock, and we surrounded the tavern. The retribution, the retribution was swift. However, I was tragically mistaken. The young man was no werewolf. He was a bandit, sent to spy on the village by one of the local gangs. We only found out after, when we went through his things. That's still no excuse for my actions. I was a fool. I made a grave mistake. And what's worse, in the eyes of my flock, I cast doubt on Erastil's greatness. A priest who can barely hear the voice of his god is a disgrace to his lord and himself, and corrupts the very people he would save. Whatever the case, I knew Erastil was no longer pleased with me. It was... Terrifying. And so I left and traveled far, seeking myself and a way back into the favor of the stag god. And thus I found you, your grace, and thus Erastil has returned to me. For that blessing, I shall be forever grateful to you. For some, it is a land of freedom, where power belongs to the people, not to lords or kings. For others, it's a land of never-ending revolution, a realm surrendered to anarchy. It depends on who you ask. For me, I found Galt a violent place. Crowds eager to lynch a stranger for that accent or appearance where a single word uttered at the wrong time or place can spark the people to riot and cities to burn. For me, 
It is a place inhabited by the frightened and the desperate, always suspicious, watchful of trickery. All too often they are deaf to the voice of reason. They cannot grasp that chaos and lawlessness lead only to yet more chaos and lawlessness. All my life I've tried to break through to these poor people, but alas, I don't seem to have made much progress. As you wish. Everything is all well, Your Grace. I just keep forgetting what a mess it is in the stolen lands and how troubled are the minds of its people. Sometimes I must listen to such nonsense from my visitors. Erastil, forgive them.
require rest. We do it my way. You asked if we'd meet again, and here I am. I see your fate has changed since last we met. Now you are the ruler who will determine the destiny of these lands. I am their living heart, the whisper of the wind, the strength of rivers, the luxuriant growth of the meadows. Do you wish to touch this power? I will show you a place where we can finally meet in flesh, you and I. Deep in the woods, there is an old mossy ruins long abandoned, nearly swallowed by the thicket. There is an old tree growing among the stones in the yard, which I remember as a seed. A shadow under its green crown I call my verdant chambers. Visit me there, my lord, and come alone. A nymph's reward awaits you. Forgive me, nymphs are not made for cities. The noise and vanity of human settlements vex me. I will answer all your questions. But there, in the silence of my asylum. So long, I will await you there, as the ground waits for spring under the heavy winter snow.
onwards! I won't be halted.
do it my way. moment of respite. Your religion is insane. How could you pray to someone who wants to kill us all? Crotus does not want anything. This pathetic world will come to an end one way or another. My God just patiently waits for that day. His path is patience and humility in the face of the inevitable. of respite? I don't understand you. I'm sorry. How can you live without faith at all? You said yourself that everything in this world is pointless. Do you think faith is an exception?
don't take that! I'm better off without it. I won't take that! Have a moment of respite. Hey, Tristan. Want to arm wrestle? I bet I'll win five out of five. If you want to show everyone your strength, go wrestle a troll. At least his broken bones will heal quickly. Try to make this swift. Ouch! I'm hiding out of our sight. So it's come to this. Do not falter! You deserved it! Oh! <laughs> 